continue. Cooperators, objective, the furled finger. All right, so we're at Great All's Dragon Burrow, and we were, oh, we were experimenting with gathering loot. Um, currently sitting at 4,000 souls. Um, we could continue and see what we can get for um, a souls upgrade here. Because we can level up and we can get some new items. See what we can come across. So let's go ahead. We're sneaking. Let's E and click. That gets us our two hand sword out. Then we'll come around behind this guy here. Queue up on him. And then we'll we'll holy swing him. Uh oh. Sneak. Uh, X. Now holy swing him. There we go. That guy's having a bad day. Q around, nothing here. Perfect. Okay, so this body. This body on the ground. It's it's mine, and I will take it back to my cave and cook it for the flesh of my enemies makes me stronger. Our next target should be... There's that one. All right. The great men that were encapsulated inside the stone over the years have come out breaking free of their encrusted tombs only to be failed and put back into their crusty tombs by the rain the rain of crustiness all right so that guy's there where's the oh there's this guy this is the guy we want so we actually don't want to attack this guy at first. Let's let's go in without our our mana and see where we get. Come on, Q onto him. There we go. So should be one good hit after that. Oh no, he killed us. Oh, that was a burn. When we stabbed him, it like unfocused on him, so our, our follow-up swing was not at him, but his, you know, imaginary shoulder. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our holy ready on this guy. All we gotta do is get by this guy here, and then over to our loot, and we'll be able to retain our our current rune count although it's it's not hard to gain it back these guys are given a thousand a pop well, I should have queued onto him with holy it gives me a one shot on him with a sneak so go back into sneak and then uh, see if we can snag our our corpse our corpse lies waiting for us to retrieve it, quivering in the wind, in the rain. The mace wielding demon, he will see his end by my sword. I will taste his flesh in my cave. Oh, he's not quite dead yet. Now he is. His corpse, it supplies me with goodies. The Kugari. The weapon of the master. It does like minimal damage but it does get their attention 
So, okay, got our sword ready. Sneak up on this guy. Get right up on him. Stabby stab. So there might be a couple level difference. Like, how much, how much they can, you know, take in damage between each other. Because that other guy was able to take a full sneak stab with the Holy Strike. So, getting a skill. Oh, there's another dude here. This one here, he has gotten me before. Sneaking. Come on, let's get him. Here we go. Alright, so back off. Run. <laughs> the camera is going to be our trick here. Cue onto him. Okay, run up onto him now. There we go. It's a little bit iffy, but if you get it, it's worthwhile. Because we're, we're almost at 10,000 souls. Our runes. However that works out. Whatever's the proper way to say it. We're almost there. As he gets to the cliff, he realizes that the world that he's in is dangerous. As opposed to before, where he thought it was light and fluffy. Now he knows that there is no quick escape. There is no way that he's going to wake up and everything's going to be fine. The tarnished lifestyle is his own. So we'll go ahead and switch to our shield combo. This kind of looks like a, a dragon's like arm wing thing. Yeah living coral on land blood coral choir materials the faded earthly flower come across this pile of rocks here is this pile of rocks a bad guy no it is not just more materials to add to my pile yeah, I think we got all the guys cleared out in this area here not exactly sure what we are working towards. Come here, dear. Oh, dear. I mean, we could probably just teleport to the round table and see what we're working towards. Maybe spend some points there. And then possibly try to fight the dragon. Not sure. So let's go Q. No, G, map. And then the round table's way out here. So scroll over here. Table of Lost Grace. Dude with really cool socks. And the table of really cool swords. Nice. Anybody here I don't recognize? Not really. This dude does the magical spells. What's up, Holmes? Yeah, I'm doing awesome, dude. Yeah, what do you got for incantation? Same ones that you had before? Okay, so this guy has nothing that we can't buy, so we can totally buy them all. But do we actually need magic fortification, flame negation, or rejection? Produces a shock wave that pushes foes away. I got that naturally. Um, that's my natural ability. I push people away. But so we'll just go ahead and skip that. Alrighty. I think ideally it'd be great if we can get um, some new armor. So let's go talk to not these guys. Don't think it's these guys. It's the dude with the hammer and thing. Not not these weirdos. I don't have a bell bearing, thank you. Purchase. Oh, they do have the stuff. 
So they have the knight's armor that does, what's this, host trick mirror, take the appearance of a co-oper, so we won't need that host fingers. Alright, so those just make you look different. Fantastic. Alright, so we have bought some stuff here before. And I think we've actually looked at some of this stuff. I don't remember. So, robustness, 50. Character screen. If there was a way to, like, see what I'm wearing versus what this would do for my armor would be great. So, weight is 10.6. Physical is 12.4. Okay, so let's queue out of here. And then we'll go ahead and check our equipment. The stuff here, 10.6. So physical strike is robustness. 12, 11, 12, 12, 10, 10, 8, 9. Okay, go back in here, purchase. 12, 11, 13, 13, 10, 10, 9, 8. This kind of is better, but it's, it doesn't seem like it's a whole lot better. So maybe we just go with a scene about the guy about upgrading it. I was thinking about wait until we get our first... We can go talk to that chick and maybe she'll give us a... A bonus of some sort. I'm not I'm not really sure. It's not here. Is it here? Yeah, it's here. And there's this dude. What's up, buddy? Hey, Barnacles. Well, Where have I been hiding? Well, I've been out on the grounds, you know, searching up stuff so that you'll do things for me. Lay out, your arms, then. Lay out my arms, then. Alright, cool. He's He's got all his fingers. He needs to trim some of his nails on his... On his right hand, but who am I to judge? So, he'll do armaments. But he won't do my armor? No, he doesn't do my armor. Hmm. Can we upgrade this still? Looks like we can. We can make this better. Okay. But we don't have the additional stones to make that any better. Alright, that's fine. And then our shield. We can make our shield better. So well, let's do that. So at least we did that. Ashes of War. Yeah, we, we still got all the ones that we got. Thanks for the help. Duplication. I don't think we really need that. So thanks, buddy. And then, uh, like, I'll wear that. What about that? Let me use one of these things you got on the wall. Pleased uh, she's pleased, pleased to see me again. Fantastic. Maybe she could watch the candles next to the giant book of burning. Would you like to be held? She's going to held my regardless. Okay, let's go for it. I don't want to refuse her. She could probably murder me or cry you know, terrible things. Alright, so look around here. See that she's she keeps a couple plants. I don't they, the plants that don't grow on any light. And then uh she's got a big wicked poster. I don't know what band that's from. She probably went on a fuel concert tour with that band was like, yeah, let's go. Tuck and roll. Alright, so that was that dude. Talk to the one dude. Can't do anything here. We can't enter the combat because we're not online, I don't think. Can't go out here. Door is blocked shut. Let's see here. Talk to this guy here. Oh, the servant thing. Got you, tomboy. Fantastic. 
This dude, what about you? Study incantations. Okay, so this guy has stuff we can't do because our intelligence isn't high enough. So orders blade, enchants the right hand armor with holy damage, and then the litany of proper death creates an image of order to deal holy damage. And it does it to what? The image is created where? Alright, well, we don't have enough intelligence to make that work. So let's rest at the table here. And level up, I guess. And uh, we're a faith-based build. Um, because that's what we started out as. Our intelligence is 9, so I don't think... I don't think it'd be good if we put our intelligence up any higher than we had needed to. But uh, let's go ahead and bring up our faith. Why not? To 20. Go from there. Spend, spend the runes. And so that puts us at 700 runes. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and bring up the map. Let's go back. Oop. Oh yeah, we have to cruise manually. Now we can zoom in a little bit. Zoom out. Zoom in. Go back here. Thank you. To Farum Great Bridge. And I think we should try to hack at the dragon again for some reason. I don't know. Um, since we are fighting a dragon, I think we should just go ahead and switch out our equipment so that we're doing flame, the boost fire damage negation. Why not? We are going to start out on our horse and see where we can get. The dragon is ready for us, but you know what? We are ready for the dragon. Sixty-nine damage. You better believe it. Turn around. So that dragon isn't flying. Got that going for us. Let's come back in and see if we can do another charge. Okay, it does fly. Let's go ahead and skiddy up a dibbity beep beep um skibbity toilet our way to the other side of this bridge. And then we'll turn around. Whoop! And skibbity toilet our way back. At this rate, we'll be able to defeat this dragon in three to four hours. So, turn this way. And we're dead. Okay. So the fire resistance really helped right there. Like, I betcha he was able to eat, you know, more meat and not have just ashes when he was eating us afterwards. So not that bad. As for trying to get the soul runes to purchase new items and stuff, well, I just didn't see anything there at the round table, and I can't remember any of the other merchants that really needed it. So, I think the for best our best money for our buck is to go back once again to one of the earlier portions of the game. Zoom down this way and see what we can do for um leveling up and getting better. Um we did manage to talk to the invisible person over by this thing. There's probably some more stuff that we can do in this range of area that we haven't done yet. So I'm not sure which one of these things is the best for us to start with. But maybe it's coastal cave there was a cave down here if there was I don't remember what it was let's start at Stormfoot catacombs
Thank you. Sprint spring jumping. Jumping on a horseback near a sprint spring to ride. Okay, we don't need to be in here. We need to be out here in the world. These guys are easy. Cue up on this guy. He's carrying a torch for me. He should be a one hit wonder. Gotcha. With a 511 on our damage. So we're sitting a little bit higher on our damage. These guys are not that much when it comes to um, uh, runes. And 23 off of that guy. Dude with flame, he's tough. So let's see if we can get up on him and. Oh, nope, no, not very, not very smooth, man. Gil up the heart was set on fire. Erroneously. For no reason. Other than his own stupidity. Rune fragments. There should be a bunch of rune fragments up here. Really not sure what to do with all those at this point. If anything, I think there was like... It was money that you don't lose, possibly, when you die. Alright, so if we look at our map, we're at the sea cliffs. We need to get down by the down by the beach. Okay, so let's cruise down this way. Yeah, give him the shield. Run. Keep on cruising. Okay, we probably don't want to jump from this height. Looks like we can make our way down by that giant. Which would be a good fight. Um, we could probably switch up to our equipment. Horse, talisman. Okay. That'll give us... These guys roll away from you when you try to, to roll up on them. Let's get them. That's hilarious. It's like the goat simulator. Nothing down here, right? Okay. Cruise this way. Say hello to the eagles. I think they're eagles. The grotesque Tweety Birds. Okay, let's go ahead and hop up on our horse. And let's see if we can give this guy a hard time. Hey, bro, what's up? This guy has a pretty good throw ability, if I remember correctly. Yes, good miss. Great miss. Oh, dude. Dude got us. This is holy ability. Okay, got a good couple swings on him. It's kind of a hectic fight. And you're just trying to run by and... And, and like swing at him he's gonna pull out his sword now this is where he shines oh, well there goes that tree Let's go ahead and take our potion oh man there goes our horse run let's see if we can get our horse back back up on the horse okay so and then we'll we'll do a, a jump to see if they could thwart his ability to get us no he got us good holy smokes slam a potion okay 
So now he's down. He's fighting in the wrong direction, buddy. Okay, now we need to go slam a potion. Where is he sitting? He's angry. That's where he's sitting. His his he's got this body cavity. Oh man. Slam a potion. I think we could kill him if we hit him one more time. Yeah, we did. We got him. Yeah, he's got like a body cavity. Um, I'm guessing his stomach. He, he lost his stomach. And he's always hungry. So he wanders the lands looking for food. But he can never be satiated. Because the food, it does no good when your stomach is not there. And the stomach is enchanted. The the enchanted stomach is 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 right there. That's his enchanted stomach. Something coming to get me, or is that just stuff breaking? That was stuff just breaking. Let's see, is the dude still running down here that we chased that one time? Nope. It's gone. Okay. I think that was right here. He's very angry. Mucho aggresso. <laughs> he was just having a nice little campfire and everything by himself. Where's your horse, bro? should be due. That should be due. That's all we need to do for Dagdu. Ombra. Smoldering butterflies. Mmm, they're delicious with crepes. And like a little bit of cream cheese. So, I'm gonna wreck this boat here. Keep on going. We don't need to, cr we don't need to crouch through any of this. Alright, so let's hop up on our horse and see if we can find this cave. Find the cave, and I think we'll sign off for now. Don't really... I know we're not going to fight these guys, because... I think we got close, but... Yeah, I don't know. Let's... We'll try them after one of those times where we don't really doesn't really matter. We lost all of our runes and stuff. It's easier when you're not worried about losing all your stuff that you've picked up. Not like we're sitting very high. We're only at a thousand. I mean, as long as we can go do... That guy's having a bad day. As long as we can chop up these guys as we go. Maybe that's supposed to be the cave over there. That's the cave we can't get to. No, that's a cave right there. Okay, that's... We, we've been by this cave before. We've just never seen it. Oh, man. These, uh... These guys had a bad day. Um... Shoot. Alright, let's talk to this guy. And then go over to the cave. And I think we'll be good. I think we'll call it good after that. Hey man, with your sad donkey, play me your tune. Hello. Me again, yeah. I don't plan on giving you any trouble. Just ignore the fact that I'm holding a sword. Poison, blood loss, sleep. Smithing stones, so I could straight up buy them. That's not a bad idea. And then I could buy arrows, too, instead of having to make them. That's not a bad idea, either, now that we got the money. 
let's just go ahead and buy the stones. Oh, there's like only a certain amount that you can get. Okay, so not a bad idea, but also not very important. Wait, let's go the opposite direction, see what we can get. Perfect, that spends all of our money. Now we can go ham on this dungeon or cave and see what kind of dangers await us. Because I'm guessing this cave is going to be awesome. It's going to unlock the dangers of the Elden world. At least I don't think I've been down here. Sneaking. The coastal cave. If we were lucky, there's a side of grace in here. What's up with this? Hey. What's up, bro? It hurts? What's up, bro? Let me touch this grace real quick. Are you, are you gonna, like, fake me out and then kill me? What's up? He looks rough. You must leave this place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. Okay, I can take that. I'll end up just like him. Alright, well, we're going to find out what all this is about um, when we come back. Is this going to be one of those places that we're going to be able to hulk out with our... our uh, let's see here, down, down... Doesn't look like we can pull out our ashes. Down, down, down. Let's see here. Can we touch this? Is this what makes it so? No, no, it's the pillory looking thing. Stand up, examine. The summoning pool is now functional. Okay, does that mean we could, we could summon other players? I think, right? Yeah, the skeletal militia men is still not able to be used. So we'll go back to our flask. And then our heal. And then uh, and we'll just call it good from right here. We made it to a side of grace. We found some dude who's all hard up. He uh he's gonna need to see like a a pediatrist or something. Somebody to help him out. <laughs> and he needs uh he needs some clothes. Besides that, I think we're good for to go for now. We'll come back to this some other time. Later. Save and exit. Gill up the heart. Level twenty six at the coastal cave. We've got twenty hours in this game. Save and quit. Bandai Namco from software.